Hello my dear students how are you hoping you are safe and sound at your home I am Juhi Dikshit your science teacher once again signing in with the new presentation on the topic friction before going with the presentation I would like to share the glimpses of the presentation students this presentation is all about the force of friction that acts to stop the movement of two touching things to understand this let's ask few questions to ourselves why a rolling ball stops on a surface why it is difficult to push a block on a rough floor why pedaling a bicycle requires force so to answer all these questions let's begin with the presentation this slide shares the outlines of the presentation first we will begin with the introduction to force of friction then why friction occurs factors that affect friction and finally friction produces heat let's start with the introduction to force of friction the standard definition states that it is the force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces fluid layers and material elements sliding against each other now students to understand it in simpler terms it can be said that it is a force that opposes motion between any surfaces that are touching friction can work for or against us let's have a look at the images in the first animated image the boy is unable to walk on an icy sidewalk due to the smoothness of the surface here it implies that less friction causes unbalancing whereas in the animated image below to it the goat first slips on an icy surface but get its balance on rough surface hence it implies more friction helps in balancing this is how friction sometimes works in favor for us and sometimes against us the adjacent animated images are showing that how too much friction can cause problem here we are seeing that there is too much friction between the moving parts of the wheel due to this wheel brake pad and the rim causes the wheel to stop turning or even wear out in the previous slide we have discussed that what is friction and how it behaves now we will discuss why friction occurs the major two reasons are molecular adhesion it is a particular intermolecular force which causes solids or liquids to adhere or stick to each other the second reason is surface roughness when we observe a surface through a microscope we find that the surfaces of all the objects have rough edges in the form of tiny hills and valleys as you are seeing in the animated image a body is pulled over another these tiny hills and valleys present on both the surfaces in contact get entangled with each other students there are certain factors that affect friction first nature of surface second weight that is the normal force and the third is surface area in contact now to understand these factors let's see the animation part in the first animation we are seeing that ball is rolling upon a surface now if there is more roughness more will be the friction if the surface of an object is smooth then less friction is produced here we are seeing that the ball rolls slowly and covers a lesser distance on this rough surface or maybe 
a muddy playground. Now, in the second animation, we are seeing that the girl is trying to push the block, but the weight of the block is producing friction. If the weight is less, friction is less. If the weight is more, friction is more. Now, let's compare the two animated images here. As far as surface area in contact is considered, we are seeing that in the first animation, the object is ball. And in the second animation, the object is block. Now students, compare here the area of contact of ball with the surface as well as of the rectangular block. We can easily see that the area of contact of ball is lesser as compared to the block. Hence, we can say that the more interlocking, more will be the friction. Here, we will discuss why friction produces heat. To understand this, students, let's do an activity. Rub your hands together for at least 30 seconds. You will observe warmness or heat in your hands. This is due to friction. So sometimes heat from friction can be useful. But inside a car engine, too much friction between moving parts can be a big problem. So, to avoid too much friction, lubrication is used. Lubrication means oiling the moving parts which makes them slippery. They slide over each other and move easily. So, this is how we can reduce friction. My dear students, here we have reached towards the end of the first part of the presentation. Now, I, Juhi Dikshit, signing out and we will meet again with the second part of the presentation. Thank you. Namaste. Bye-bye.